There is no doubt that a lot of fans around the world have been very fed up with Star Wars and how Lucasfilm handles the overall Star Wars franchise, such as with the latest example of how they fired Gina Carano through use of social media, through Twitter trends and hashtags, you name it. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, mind you, is that they really are doing everything in their power to bring Star Wars back to the way it used to be before 2012. We're talking about before when Disney and Kathleen Kennedy took over Star Wars and before Kathleen Kennedy pretty much, you know, turned against George Lucas and really did a complete 180 by not really sticking to her promises of respecting the characters and the storylines. So here we are, you know, it is the very end of February and we're heading into March and Lucasfilm is only getting started with the franchise. However, Disney is on edge based on what has been happening the past couple of weeks with numerous, you know, fans and, you know, members actually canceling their accounts on Disney Plus and moving away from that. And how it not only affects Star Wars, it also affects Marvel. And that's exactly why they're very concerned about all of that. Now, March 9th is going to be the shareholder meeting. All right, so that's going to be a very big day. We also know that Disney CEO Bob Chapek is pressuring Kathleen Kennedy to make an official statement about why she fired Gina Carano and why it was handled poorly. And if she does not do that, there's going to be a lot of trouble on Kathleen Kennedy. So with that being said, of course, beyond all of this, what's really intriguing all has to do with Jon Favreau and the situation that he himself is in after the firing of Gina Carano. Now, on top of that, given that The Mandalorian Season 3 is now in development along with Season 4, both Disney and Lucasfilm have been working closely with both Favreau and Filoni. It's explained, however, that creator John Favreau behind the scenes is going through a major transition when it comes to Star Wars. It's best described that Favreau is set to leave a big Star Wars project for Disney Plus after the Gina Carano fired situation and that Favreau is in the process of leaving Rangers of the New Republic as the project is set to be torn down and replaced with a brand new Star Wars TV show for the streaming platform. Favreau is actually said to have taken Disney CEO Bob Chapek into a big conversation into making this major decision and that Rangers is going to be reformed with a fan favorite character, storyline changes, and even a brand new title for the show and will be given in, of course, a later release date and is being treated as an entirely new TV show for Disney+. Plus. Not just that, however, but Filoni was also a part of Rangers and is also moving away from the project and will be more focused on Ahsoka Tano series and Mandalorian for the time being. Favreau is looking to making Princess Leia, surprisingly, the star of the reformed version of the new Star Wars TV show, as it will focus on the rise of the New Republic just months after the return of the Jedi, up to one year, and that they are planning to do a full-on recast of General Leia. Aside from all of this, additionally, the Gina Carano fired situation is also progressing to where some Lucasfilm employees behind the scenes want Gina Carano hired back for The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4, and disagree with other employees that are against Gina Carano. On top of all of this, Kathleen Kennedy is pushing for an idea to completely erase Gina Carano from the Mandalorian series by deleting scenes and cutting her out of the overall show. However, Bob Chapek is not agreeing with that and has rejected Kennedy's proposal. Now, the thing about all of this, all right, as I like to call Kathleen Kennedy Darth Lean Kennedy, I don't know if that really sticks, but when we go ahead and look at what's been going on behind the scenes, Kathleen Kennedy is in a very sticky situation right now. Bob Chapek is very much unhappy with her. He's very unhappy with how Lucasfilm handled the Gina Carano firing and how that's kind of backfiring on Disney. We have people talking about canceling their vacations and canceling their memberships and pretty much throwing out their Disney movies. I mean, a lot of things are happening and Disney is a little on edge about this. 
The shareholder meeting on March 9th is gonna be a very big day. I do suggest that you guys mark your calendar because the top shareholders, we're gonna learn a little bit more about their stance on things. Generally speaking, we do know that they are very unhappy with how the Gina Carano situation went down and how Kathleen Kennedy did not hold any form of responsibility and has refused to even show face. But yet, all right, she decides to show face on the Oscars video, which a lot of fans went against and ended up, you know, pretty much, you know, pretty much going up against her. That was not a good situation on her part. That was actually a very terrible move on her part by making face for that actual reason when she fired Gina Carano. Now, on top of this, Jon Favreau leaving from Rangers of the New Republic isn't really all that surprising. Rangers was supposed to be a show that was going to star Gina as Cara Dune. She was going to be the main character. But now what Favreau is doing is that he's leaving this project with Filoni and reforming it, giving it a brand new title, a brand new storyline, and a brand new focus on a fan favorite character as the main star to kind of gain its momentum. Since Cara Dune is what he was banking on, now he wants to bank on Leia, a full on, reca uh, a full -on recast of Leia in this new reformed version of Rangers of the New Republic, getting a brand new title and more. Now this new show, whatever it's going to be called, is going to be pretty much delayed, most likely an extra six months, maybe even to a year because they have to do a lot of big changes to the show and the overall structure. It's gonna be based within the same timeline, you know, one month to one year after Return of the Jedi, eventually showing us the Battle of Jakku and the actual demise of the Empire before the rise of the First Order starts. So you can look at Rangers or this new show that's taking place of Rangers as a prequel to The Mandalorian to say things the simplest way. Now, Jon Favreau, all right, some fans would say that Jon Favreau should just leave and not even deal with all this nonsense. And I understand how some fans feel out there, but Jon Favreau has a mission. He actually has this real belief within himself that he can really bring Star Wars back to its roots. Favreau came on board of Star Wars because he was unhappy about The Last Jedi. He was unhappy about Ryan Johnson's approach with the overall movie and Kathleen Kennedy's treatment of Star Wars. He wanted to turn things around, and he sure did. But then we got the Gina situation, which kind of brought things off track a little bit. Now, Disney and Lucasfilm, all right, they're still working on Mando Season 3 and 4, Andor, Kenobi, Ahsoka, What's even more surprising is that there are some Lucasfilm employees that want Rosario Dawson out as Ahsoka. They want her fired. Is it really a big surprise? I mean, <laughs> there is a divide over there as a company, so I'm not all that shocked. Now, when we go ahead and also examine Jon Favreau, this is a guy that loves Star Wars Legends. We talked about this a couple of days ago of how he plans to do something huge with Luke in season three and four and bringing back elements of Dark Empire into the Mandalorian series. So like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.